How's it going guys? We are back. Guess what? It's another Ninja Turtle game. I think we've done everything Ninja Turtles that's ever existed, but we haven't done a video on this game yet, believe it or not. I did a live stream of the arcade game, but the difference between the arcade game and this game is that this game has two extra stages, so that's why this is definitely worth playing. And This is a game that we both owned as a kid, and uh, as kids, and it's, uh, it's gonna be cool, so let's go. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna be Donatello. I am gonna be Raph, because I always use Raph as a kid, and he is my favorite Ninja Turtle. Do you have a favorite turtle? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Donatello, just because of the range of the attack. Mm -hmm. Like, What about as far as the character I, goes? I, I think that he's kind of like the key to the team. They'd be fucked without him. Yeah, absolutely, so. He's a good choice. It's pretty important. I have a question, did you use your Pizza Hut uh, coupon when you bought the game? No. <laughs> no, I, I didn't either. I just, <laughs> no. Yeah. That's funny. That was one of the things that's weird, and you'll see in this stage, there's like the Pizza Hut logo. They were really pushing yeah. the, the product placement. They, they did that, yeah. On this game. Yeah. In the movies, I wonder, did they eat Domino's or Pizza Hut? I guess it was always that's Pizza Hut, right? Yeah. There was a lot of, uh, you'd go to Pizza Hut and they would have, uh, I think Pizza Hut and Burger King both did like Ninja Turtle things at one point. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. I had like little uh, magnets and things like that that they would give away, you know? So one of the things that you can do in this game is you hit both buttons at the same time and you can do sort of a stronger attack. And that's uh, kind of what gets you through the game. This game is, oh, when you do the two together, yeah. does it take health away? Or no. no. I don't believe so. It's a little hard to do. Sometimes. Yeah. I gotta get used to it again. I haven't played this game in quite a while. There's the Pizza Hut. There it is. I find Pizza Hut to be very greasy. Yeah, I'm I, th not... I think they dip their the pizza dough in in uh, in grease overnight, and I think that kind of grosses me out. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fucking good though. Like, don't don't get me wrong. It's just kind of a gross thought, like how greasy. When when you eat Pizza Hut and then you leave, like you feel really greasy and, and gross. Yeah, it's, but... it's definitely not the. The healthiest thing. It's yeah. Not, yeah. It's delicious. It's probably though. the least healthiest thing. <laughs> it's like the least, like Mountain Dew, I think is the, they, I, I saw a report once other than like those like crazy ones, like Jolt Cole and stuff like that. Other than that, like Mountain Dew is like the worst, uh, like soda for you. And Pizza Hut's probably the, the worst pizza, but, uh, but good tasting. And Mountain Dew's damn, damn good soda. Oh my God. Although it's uh, awful for you. So this is a game that I played the hell out of when I was a kid. I played this so much. Um, I might even say this is this is one of the games I played the, the most, other than maybe Zelda 1. I played this game countless hours, and this is a very hard game. Um, it's it's a long game uh, for, for, for a beat-em-up like this, uh, and uh, I'm trying to decide whether I think it's, it's a good game or a bad game, and I think it's an okay game. Uh, it's a little bit redundant with the foot soldiers and it kind of just after a while like once you once we get to like the fifth stage or so You're gonna be like all right like when's this over yeah. you know This is this is one of the the biggest get like if you're thinking about like what were the call of duties of this era? Oh. Like the, the biggest titles of the year Grand Theft Auto yeah. or, or what have you. I, I know yeah where you're going with yeah, it. and you're absolutely correct and these are called the uh, I knew the name of it. They um, oh, Give me a second they are there's a, these guys have a funny name. Ro Roadkill Rodney, I think, is their name. That's such a weird name. Isn't that a weird yeah. name? But, uh, but yeah, this was the Call of Duty of the day. And you notice the colors of the turtles? The, they have different colors? If it's yeah, they, they match the colors from the uh, cartoon. And I want to mention something about sprites. Okay. So the NES can display, I think, an 8x16 or 8x8 tile okay. for each sprite. And each sprite can have 4 plus 1 color in it, or three plus one color. So these characters are actually multiple sprites stacked on top of mm -hmm. each other. That's interesting. And there's also like a certain number of sprites that can be on the screen per scan line. And you'll notice when we're on the same plane with an enemy, you'll see a flicker. Yeah. That's because they're exceeding the sprite count per scan line, and that's causing the flicker. So can, can I wait? Can, can we stand still for a second? Can, can you? Can we stand on top of each other? So, well, to, see, to we make can me, to make me. Disappear? We can because we're four sprites across each, which is exactly eight. But you'll see when we're standing on the same plane wait, as Rock. Don't, don't, don't move for a second because I want to like totally cover you up. Look at that. <laughs> You're gone. That's funny. When we stand, you'll see when we stand on the same plane as Rocksteady. Okay. Or see how it's flickering? 
Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. We're, that's when the enemies came out. That That's because we're exceeding the number of horizontal titles that the NES can do. Wow, you actually proved that right there. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> isn't that weird? Hey, there's April. She's yeah, in the game. she is. So, I mean, yeah, look at that. Because, see, I'm in the same plane as that, and that's more than four across. So my feet are flickering. Remember, that's the module that came up uh, from the Technodrome. Remember this from the cartoon? They used to take, because the Technodrome was underground, it was like in the center of the earth, and they, they would have to take those modules up from the Technodrome. Man, I, I kind of miss that cartoon. It's like, the, the show is very redundant as well. Like, every every plot's basically the same thing. You know, Strider does something bad. He robs the jewel place, and then right. they gotta stop him. But it was, it was an entertaining show. And, pe and people make fun of the cartoon. Um, so much the original, but I, I think it was a good cartoon. It was entertaining, you know, for its day. It's you know, and, and people you know say that the comic was so much. It was so much more serious in tone and everything. And yeah, it, it, it was. But I, I like the original cartoon. I think it was it was entertaining. Oh, he's blinking and now. I, and I bring that up because Rocksteady, you know, Rocksteady wasn't in the comics, right? That's a that that was a show creation, I believe. And I think he works. I, I definitely think he works. The backstory, you know, of Bebop and Rocksteady, the the Warthog and the Rhino. Right. The, the classic flashing. And here comes Shredder. Pretty badass. Oh, it's a video game, so it needs to have. He's like the... almost. He's almost, Shredder's almost giving him the finger. There. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's got the Shredder. Yeah. I feel like there's more pizza in the arcade game. There might be. Yeah. I think the arcade game is the better game than this. I mean, the, the name of this game is the arcade game, so, yeah. you know, and this is a port. I think they what they, I think they knew that when they were designing it, and I think that's why they gave it the extra stages, because they were like, this isn't as good. What do, we, what do we do? How do we fix it? They're like, eh, if we put in an extra couple of stages, it'll, you know, it'll make it a little better, make it worth it. But they knew. It wasn't quite as good. I think the, given the limitations that they had both in the cartoon, and uh, in this, the the uh... did they also do that in Turtles in Time? Actually, weren't there more stages in the SN SNES game? Oh, I don't I think know. There, I think there might have been. Funny story. I never played t uh, Turtles in Time arcade. <gasps> You're so missing out. Uh, there, it's oh I've, my god. I've only played the, it on Super Nintendo. So there's there's music and there's sound effects. Like the turtles actually talk in the arcade version. Um, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite arcade games. I, ha I have played Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo a ton. Yeah, and, I, and I, you know it's I great on it. it's great on Super Nintendo, but you really should someday try the arcade because well, no, what you should do is um, if you ever get the opportunity, um, try to play them back to the back somehow because then you could really notice the differences. And again, like I was saying, you know, based on the limitations that I I was talking about, I mean, d doesn't like the fact that that sprite can exist given the limitations. The one of Bebop. Yeah. Yeah. That's an amazing sprite. Like, I love that. Come on, you fucker! Look at all these hits I'm getting in. Yeah, you have him in a good spot now. I mean, you're taking a ton of damage, but so is he. Yeah. It's kind of like, do some that shit. When is he gonna start blinking? He's blinking. Yeah. Look at this. Fuck you. You gonna get the winning hit? <laughs> no. I'm just trying to stay away. Yeah. Oh, almost there. This is intense. Yeah. Oh, look at this. More blinking. Yeah! yeah! Fucking asshole. Fuck that guy. Oh my god. <sighs> So, the end boss of this level is the Rat King, or is it Baxter? I think it's Baxter, and he's flying around. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Baxter Stockman, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of Turtles in Time, where you're like in the water in the sewer, but then you fight the Rat King, and it is a little... And you gotta dodge the, like, explosive things yeah, and all that. Yeah, all that. It's funny how, um, in the cartoon, they made the foot soldiers robots. But, you know, foot soldiers were actual people, in there the was a lot of censorship in kids' TV and stuff. There was. Back in the day. And in arcades, too. like re And in comics. Like, remember the comic code? Mm -hmm. And how all the arcade machines had to have, like, don't do drugs on them and stuff like that. 
Boom, there we go. Okay, that was so much easier than Bebop. Yeah. Like, that was a joke. Because oh. he didn't uppercut at all. Yeah. He didn't do anything. I'm Baxter there, Stockman. There it is. <laughs> yeah, buzz. Buzz. Let's melt the snow and rebuild New York City. See, not as iconic as in Turtles in Time, because there would have been a voice there that yeah. said, let's melt the snow, <laughs> you know? And Big Apple, 3 a.m. Yeah, that Big Apple, 3 a.m. is the one. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is those quotes are in this game, but they, they don't have the voice to go along with it, yeah. so it's not memorable. You know, if it just said that in Turtles in Time on screen and didn't have the words, right? It wouldn't it, be. Nobody would do that. Yeah. You know, we were talking about NES color limits. The reason why those robots there's blue and then there's dark blue. The re the reason why those robots have to be the color they are is because, like, like ideally they would be mechanical looking. You, you know, they wouldn't be. They'd be like gray. Yeah. And the reason, yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, exactly. They 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 had to be blue. Because there was no way that they were doing gray. You, you know, that flickering is so obvious now, and as a kid, I didn't even think about it. Slowdown is obvious, and that's the game, that's not... The, the game was like that. It's yeah. all with all these missiles going around. Yeah. Who put the lights out? The other thing, a lot of NES games, like, they, they, they wouldn't use that blue. You, you know, like, you notice, you play enough NES games, you notice, like, the colors they use. You start seeing, like, people solving problems in the same ways, you know? And it's like, the things they had to do, like- To get it to work. To get it to work. Like, look, the sky, the guys, like, the, like the same it's color. very yeah. monochromatic. You know, and like- I just got extra life, maybe I can get through yeah. this. Yeah. The other thing about it is, if you look, the trees in the background are the color, are every possible turtle color. What, did you take like a class on sprite theory? Like, <laughs> like what well, happened? Well, you know, I'm getting into the game stuff. All it's right, becoming right. more and more of a thing. Right. And That's interesting, and like, you're right. I was yeah. actually really impressed, like before when the, when the foot soldiers came out, and like, they started blinking right when the foot soldiers came out. I was like, wow, he's actually knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually pretty like, good. But yeah, I, I think the, the, most, the most amazing things are that they had to, the other thing they had to manage is when they have multiple sprites on the same horizontal, mm -hmm. they had to manage which ones showed up when, because there's like a priority, a priority table. Of which one goes of in front? Of like, which ones, which ones are higher in the priority table, determine what shows up. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to see a bad example of that, look at Metal Man stage in uh, Mega Man 2. Okay. With the things, the, the drills. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I know exactly like, what you're talking about. Like, like this game is is high art compared <laughs> to that. Yeah. But like, like as, as far as the the sophistication. Yeah, that 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 part in particular is really pretty poor. Actually. No, no granted, they're years years removed, and this is a much larger cartridge, and you know the mappers are different. All all of that, but still. And, yeah, and like all these instances, we're talking about different eras. I'm talking about Tari. You know, you're talking about years prior. You know, with Mega Man, so and, and then Nintendo. I mean, with 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 the Shit. cartridge har hardware, we saw we saw so much, like 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 the the NES going from like the basic carts, like something like Balloon Fight, right? To Battle Toads, Battle Toads, right. yeah, Battle Toads Ninja is a good Gaiden, example. Like, I mean, well, three, yeah. Um, I, I think I think of like the really late titles, like Mighty Final Fight. Yeah. Do we know this guy's name? Uh, Panda Bear Fuckface McGee, I think is probably what it is. Fuckface Panda Bear McGee, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, so this guy w uh, wasn't in anything as far as I know. Like, I don't think he was on the cartoon. Um, like, do you remember that cartoon where they fought, like, the, the polar bear in the leather jacket? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't remember <laughs> they, they that fought. one. Yeah. <laughs> I think like, he's like he's like an extra from like Wally Bear and the No Gang. <laughs> right? Like they brought him in. He, that's exactly what it is. It's like it's, uh, he was he was on like yeah, it's like drugs polar crack pipe or something. The polar, <laughs> the polar crack bear. Yeah, it's like the the the, the, the Charlie the crack bear. <laughs> Something like that. The, the Pepsi mascot like yeah. needed needed a oh no the Coca Cola yeah. mascot this needed is, like this is the bad version this is the Pepsi version of the Coke yeah. polar bear he's like he's like trying to be a tough guy look at you this is skill yeah if you were wondering what skill looked like this is what it this looks like this is what like. you do kids yeah this is you, you when you're an old fuck like me and you play this game a thousand times and then he fucks you up no, wow I'm kidding look at that 
You kick him right in the balls right over the balls. and over again. Right in the panda balls. Kick his kick his crack pipe balls. Just keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, fuck him. And, by the way, what's the floating Star Wars? It's the snow generator. Oh. Because it doesn't snow in New York, like, yeah. in New York City well, yeah, in the does. spring. Oh, in the spring. That's the problem. Right. right. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it does snow. It's that thing it. from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Do you remember that episode where Worf like, went down with Jadzia, I think, and then like there was a fucking... The, they, no, they went to R Ryza because Ryza ha has a fucking snow generator thing just like that because it's the pleasure planet and right. that's, anyway, that's what it is. It's I thought from that episode. I thought that it was well. You go Imperial probe droid. He's dead. You beat him. Yeah. Imperial probe droid. I that's, started on that. Easy. Yeah. Oh, and then he blows yeah. it up automatically. Oh look, now it's not frozen anymore. Great sound effect. Springs here. <laughs> Here's in a half shell. <laughs> you know what I think they did to make that car go? Just thinking about what they did. <laughs> Sorry, going back oh to that. Oh my god. Going back to it. I think that it's a back. I think it's actually the background. Oh, and that, they, they the, moved the background. They moved the background. That's what I think because it's it's just it's just too big. This one's coming out. It's okay. It's coming out. There, did you see it? Yeah, I, I was did. like, bup, 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 <laughs> yeah. bup. Yeah. What was it like? <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, it's like, like the sound effect these bullets are making. That, that, yeah. that, that. I think it's funny that he has a laser gun, but it shoots bullets. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any. It should be like a disruptor. Yeah. It should be like. Bruh. It's so stupid. Yeah. I think that that gun should sound like like when Princess Leia gets stunned. <laughs> like, isn't that what it looks like? It should be like. It's the, yeah, it's like this weird like, like Marvin the Martian like a vacuum gun gun machine gun. Or something. Like, like the fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> this is like really close. I'm about to die. Yeah. And th there's probably like a pizza coming up. If oh, I can just get to the would pizza. Be so good. Oh. <gasps> yes. Dude, dude. I know. Yeah, all the other bosses have been pushovers since, since yeah. Bebop. I don't know what was up with that boss fight. Like, April, you can come ha help out instead of sitting there. Worthless piece of shit. Oh, my God. Oh, maybe she's tied up. Sorry. She's tied up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but you can't just cut her. Yeah, like, why don't I just walk back there, cut her, like, loose, and then she can come yeah. in and, like, kick his ass. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could do that? I'm gonna try it. <laughs> no. Yeah, she unleashes. Yeah, you know what? You know what is funny? Like, April in... The original turtles, and I could be wrong about this. Was well, just a reporter. Is is just a reporter, yes. and she doesn't. Really Later on, fight. she's like a ninja, right? Yeah, but like nowadays, yeah, she's like she's like a freaking ninja. That's so outside of what her character was. Yeah, she was just a fucking reporter, and she was a good character when she was just a reporter. Like, why did she have to become a ninja? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Look, look, look at the, look at the sprite. Did you see? It, it was, was cut off because yeah. it couldn't. Yeah. It's funny. Look at those. Jokes. Get in the turtle van! <laughs> that looks like shit. It's like a shoebox. <laughs> the turtle shoebox. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we got the knife, guys. They got the knife. They got the touch. See, that's why you're doing so well, because you got the knife at the beginning. That's. Get the knife. That's yeah. why, yeah. What do you, mean? you don't get a knife. What are you talking about? I have the sigh. I start with the sigh. Yeah. Size like a knife. It kind of is like a knife. It's like three knives. That's what it's like. It's like three knives at once. It's great. Yeah. See, so, so you should be. Oh, spear dudes. Is that like the the weapon you would not want to have? Like, I want the fucking katana blade. Are you yeah. kidding me? If I could have any of them. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, did you see that 1950 car? That, oh yeah. It's kind of like the ne neutrinos, right? You remember them? I love the neutrinos. Do you remember what? Them? Yeah, that was a rough season. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was season one, dude. Was it? They were in season one? Yeah. So wait, the rock men are in season one and, and Krang and all that shit? They're in like the first couple episodes, I think. Wow. Oh, Krang is in the first episode. Yeah. It's all about Krang, actually. That's interesting. The, fir the first five part episode is actually really, really good. It's the best thing in the whole show. So you think like- The pilot episodes. If you could just watch that, that Just watch be... the first five episodes and you're good. You yeah. stop. Also, actually, the, the season finale of season three, the turtles actually, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, The Walking Dead, where every, like, ten episodes, something actually happens. Yeah. You know, season three finale, I think it's called The Big Boom or The Big Break-In or something like that. The turtles actually break into the Technodrome and go and f try to, like, take out Krang and Shredder, 
and then, you know, they don't ultimately, but that's a great episode because they actually, like, do something. Because you think about that from the beginning. It's, it's like, been down there the whole time. It's like, why it? don't they just fucking go down there and, do like, do something? And they finally man up in the season finale of the third se season and, and actually do something. So... I say watch the first five-parter and then watch those two episodes and, and then you're, you're good. So in the in the current Nick Turtles, they don't get to the neutrinos until the space season, which is like season three or season four. Yeah, like, it's well into it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, right, it's like right off the bat pretty much with the neutrinos in the, in the original series. Because they're the freedom fighters who are fighting against Krang. And they're like the, the rebellion yeah. in Dimension X, sure. I love how D Dimension X is always hazy and like... Yeah, I love yeah. Dimension X. I want there to be... If they do another one of those Turtles movies, they got to actually go to Dimension X. It's like going to hell and do. It is. Like, it has to happen. It is. And yeah. they, they alluded a lot to that in the second movie. Like, there was, the Technodrome was in it. Yeah. So... I mean, that wasn't a very good movie, but I, I give them credit for, like, at least including a lot of shit that's from the cartoon. It's shit that I asked for, and I've always wanted to see in the movies, just poorly executed. Yeah. You know? Now they just need to do it, but do it well. Yeah, the Technodrome was total shit. Yeah, it needs to come out of the ground. The whole terror of the Technodrome is that it, like, runs over buildings. Like, you think of it, like, going through New York City and just, like, crushing, like, all the buildings. It's, like, it's terrifying. And they totally took that away by having it fly in the sky. Yeah. It's stupid. The Technodrome is not a fucking UFO. Hey, do you want to know why they're pink? What? Why? Because there's... Because <laughs> that foot soldier's pink. No. Well, yes, but the reason why is because there's a limit of the number of color palettes they can have in a horizontal. Okay. And because they knew the foot soldiers were going to be in the horizontal, and you could have the two different turtles, they had to do that so they, they were that color. Because they had a limit of how many palettes per screen on the horizontal. That's also why the whole world is like monochromatic here. Okay. It's like very like few colors. I just beat the level, by the way. That's awesome. Oh, now we're on this shit. The, was this uh, thing a toy? I feel like that thing was a toy at one point. Yeah, I think it oh, was. Oh, you know what? The thing he's riding on, the, the skateboard, there was a toy of that. There Wasn't there one for like every turtle? I think could, there was, yeah. and they were all different. One of them had like a windmill on the, on the back or something. Not yeah, like I had the something. Mikey one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were cool. That's the cool. Ninja Turtle toys were fucking so cool, and I loved uh, the packaging. The packaging art was like amazing on those fucking toys. You know what I love so much about the turtle toys is actually the back of the boxes. I like I like looking at like the turtles that were. I think they were, they had turtles that were coming, yeah, that were gonna be released, or they had like the the other ones in the line. Because you go to the store and you might, maybe you get like two or three of them. Like your parents yeah. might buy you two of them or something, but you're not gonna get like all of them. So you look at the back of the box and be like, oh, I gotta get Casey Jones or yeah. I gotta get like whoever else, you know. And then I remember as. And maybe we can find an image of it as as it went on when, when the turtle because turtle toys were around like forever. So once it got into like season eight or whatever of, of like, right. the Ninja Turtles, the, the the images got smaller and smaller for the all the like toys you could collect. Yeah. And the whole back of the box was just like a million faces. It just got ridiculous because that... during the beginning there'd be like five guys yeah. you could get. You know, <laughs> oh, holy they got Splinter! Him. Splinter could kick their asses. Come on, Mausers. The Mausers are so much cooler in the arcade version. Yeah. Baxter was under mind control, or not mind control, but uh, just like he had to do whatever Shrang, Shrang. <laughs> he had to do, do whatever. I just combined Shredder and Krang. Yeah. He had to do whatever uh, Shredder and Krang. Is that like Benefer, Shrang? <laughs> Benefer. Yeah. Braddon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shrang. <laughs> that should be a new fucking. I don't know. That could be a new. Uh, action figure. Yeah. It's like a combination. It's like sh Shredder with Shredder. Krang in his stomach or something. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny if like Krang to live had to get implanted in a Shredder's stomach. Yeah, right. Like, it's like, an, it's like a Dax. Yeah. Like a symbiote. There's a whole season where they're like arguing with each other and he's like inside. Him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and yeah. they hate each other too. Yeah. So that'd be kind of funny. That's one of the great things about the original cartoon. They're like, a, they're like a married couple and they just, yeah. you know, they have to be Funny. together, like, you know, they have to work together, but they really hate each other. That kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. Great. Mercury. Can I go up there? Oh, yeah. all right. Problem solved! Yeah. Oh, there's something else I want to mention. The AI in this game is way better than it has any right to be on the NES. Right? Like, I think the AI is, like, pretty decent. It's smart! Yeah. Like how they surround you, and there's a lot going on. Yeah, they, they for an NES game. It really is. 
Yeah. Like most NES games, if you think about it, like yeah, the AI just kind of walks around randomly, and like they know, like know what they're doing here. Man, this is going on fucking forever. You got him. This is getting to the point where I'm like, all right, this is going yeah, on a while now. Exactly. Like, how, what, how much can you say about foot foot soldiers? And like... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I, I'm glad that we have the technical discussion because it adds something yeah. to it. Because it's like. Because uh, of what else can you say? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a blue one now. There's the drill thing again. Did you know that they come from the technical? Did, did you know that that's a module? Right here. You're oh, I just got an extra life. Six hundred points. Yeah. As soon as I said I was falling apart, I pulled it together. <laughs> Just when I thought I had found my way out, they pulled me back in. Oh. Oh, no, you keep going, man. You're doing great. Just oh, yeah, it's great. I love keep, it. keep going. Yeah, have some mustard, motherfucker. Enjoy. It's mustard fox. <laughs> mustard asshole. Fucking <laughs> mustard fox. Oh, boy. It's not good. Hey, get them all around there. Do that. Boom! Oh, yeah! I'm like so excited about it. <laughs> You're like, boom! I haven't been a that excited about anything in like. <laughs> I know, right? It's very sad that that's what certainly we're that, not like... excited about the Nintendo Direct today. Oh, oh my god! Oh, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In case this video uh, comes out later, uh, we, this today's the day the Nintendo Direct came out, and it was yeah. a little lackluster. Other than I thought arms looked okay, and I thought that box. What was that game called? Box something. Billy Box Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember these lasers. Yeah. Dude, they're, they're, they're exactly like the turbo lasers from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they remind me of that. In the, in the Millennium Falcon? Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at look at the tops of them, how they're like not connected to anything. Yeah. They're just like floating. Yeah. What is oh, that? XZY? That. Is that the pizza? I think that's supposed to be the pizza. Go pick it up. Well, not now because I'm full. Oh, yeah. Today. It's a rock soldier. No, it's Granitor! <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Was he like the head of the rock soldiers? Or no, something? General Trag is the head of the rock soldiers. This is General Trag's first officer. He's he's the he's the, number one. He's the number one. General Trag, <laughs> Granito, please come to the ready room immediately. I need some Earl Grey, tea, Earl Grey hot. Oh, <laughs> uh, they need to make Ninja Turtle versus Star Trek. Okay, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. <gasps> Okay, I got it. Good job. It, Why does he have a gigantic nipple? It's a fucking. It, he's a soldier. That's his like bat. His, his, his metal. nipple. It's his, it's his. Well, the nipple. It's not in the right spot. He's an to be ice golem and he has a nipple. <laughs> an ice golem. <laughs> that's the. That's how he, it works. Why does he have a bird face? Like he's an ice golem bird face with a nipple and a flamethrower. And by the way, there was never an action figure of this guy, and there should be. Come on, playmates, like make them. Just take a rock circle, a soldier and co color and paint blue. him, paint him, and put a fucking Donald Duck beak on his face. Yeah, that's it. He's like, <laughs> yeah, and, and white, and and white booties. Look at him. There you go. And give Whoa. him a nipple. And Let's cut set. Splinter down. There you go. I think they'd make they do it. Come on, Splinter. Automatically or something. There you like, go. It happens. Oh no. Who just released him? I don't, I don't know. Le himself, Leonardo huh? was up there the whole time jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is that what he was doing? That's exactly what he was doing. These are okay. We just entered Ninja Gaiden right now. Why did they wait this long to give you like something to new? To give you these guys. These guys should have been in the like level two. The game can only handle like so much new enemies. So. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> like, like they can have any enemy they want. Because this is one of the new levels. So, so it's new. The, all the rest of the levels were, this, were trying to be like the arcade. I love we went from the entrance of the Technodrome to like the like a 3D it makes version no, it of the makes level no from sense. Kung Fu. Yeah. Like, yeah. Where is this inside the Technodrome? Like, yeah. They this, should. Is, this is Shredder's like like training chamber. I guess you you figure like the Technodrome has a lot of shit in it. I, I think so. I think the Technodrome is an awesome place. If that should be a fucking why is there no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ride in any theme parks like a roller right. coaster? You should you know like the fucking Tower of Terror. You should go like through the Technodrome and then get on like a Technodrome. Imagine a Technodrome roller coaster. Imagine if that. they had like the Rock and Roller Coaster or, like Space Mountain, but it was like you went in a gigantic oh my Technodrome. God. Like fucking reskin Spaceship Earth as the Technodrome. And put a fucking eyeball on top, all right? It would be amazing. It would be better. I, well, aren't we all tired of the golf ball by now? Like, it was cool in 1960, but, like, we're, everybody, we're done. Everybody's or like... Or 1970s or whatever, 80s. Everybody's all, like, 
Oh, like how many times have you been on Spaceship Earth? Oh my god. It was great before they ruined it and made the whole end of the ride a fucking iPad like yeah. thing. Oh, how do you want your future to be? Yeah. You're gonna ride on a hoverboard to it, it didn't, your fucking Jetson house. It used to you, you used to like lie back like that and you see all this cool shit above you, and now they changed it to a screen in front of your face. You know what? I can put a screen in front yeah. of my face right now. Why do it's I have to play dark. Disney World? I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh look, you're you're in Disney World right now. Thank you so much. Yeah. Siemens, you you there's my future. Yeah, Siemens. That's there's great. Siemens is right. Do you remember the Manhattan Project? Did, the did, third one. Did you ever play that? Yeah. What'd you think of that one? Do you remember it? I don't like that the special attacks take life away. Yeah, I don't like it. That's one That's... thing that I think better about this game. Yeah. You know, look at that. Like, watch my life. See if it goes away or not. Let's see if we're even right. Oh, God. Uh, wait. Actually, wait until I get my ass kicked here. Did no. it take? Yeah, no. it didn't, right? Yeah. I didn't think so. And is that's that so much move, better. Is that move out of the Manhattan Project? Uh, no, they all do something different, I think. Yeah. I think Raph in that game does some kind of like spiral attack. But don't it. you hit select to do it in Manhattan Project? Mm, I can't remember what I you do I think you do. Game. That game is superior in a lot of ways, but that part of it sucks. That yeah. it takes life. Because, you know, because you basically can't fucking use it. Yeah, I wonder what they were thinking when they did that. What were they thinking? I would love to, like, if you're talking about using, like, Game Genie codes, like, I don't typically use Game Genie for anything. Yeah. But having it so that doesn't take away life would be... Would, oh, you, I wonder if that's a Game Genie option. I even. think that would be a fun, like, Game Genie code if they had that. You know, you don't hear people talking much about Game Genie no. these days. Yeah, no, not anymore. But it was awesome. It was so much fun to do like the change Mario's jump height and stuff like that. I would love to do a video just fucking around with Game Genie. Yeah, we should do like, that. Like play Mario, but with Game Genie codes or something. Yeah, and I'm not talking about like the infinite life. I'm talking about like, like all the weird codes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's make a point to do that. Yeah, someday. we should do that. Mike and Ryan fuck with Game Genie. Insecticon fuckers. I mean, what else can those be? Scorpionock. I don't know Scorpionok. What's that? Is that trying to Scorpionok's like a gigantic, like one of the like big playsets. Oh. A Transformer one though. Yeah. I've never even heard. I of had that, him. Actually. As, I had him as a kid. Is that like a later one? Yeah, I had him as a kid, but it's like. Is it? It's probably it was, not G one. It's right? it's after Transformers the movie. Oh. Like okay. The season after. Like oh, with okay. Galvatron. Yeah, yeah. He was like the base with like. Remember Trypticon? He yes. was between. Transformers the movie and, and the season with Trypticon. Okay. Was uh I've only seen the like those episodes like a little bit. I've more like everything pr pre movie I've seen a lot and then the movie and then after the movie. Yeah, it's I before they started doing goofy shit like Universal yeah, Monsters and stuff. Yeah. That was like the last. I, no, that's not true. They did a Frankenstein episode very early on. Um, I'm pretty sure where. Optimus Prime kind of turns into like a Frankenstein. Let Frank me say Frank. when Scorponok is Scorponok is right after Optimus Prime came back. Okay. So he's a headmaster. I bet he is. Yeah. We're, we're, oh yeah, that's right. His head comes off. I forgot about that. Keep attacking his body though. I think. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Like that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We kind of got through that. Hey, you're about to get a level, uh, a life back. Okay, cool. On the next oh one. my god, it's like a fatality! Oh my, wow. <laughs> Look at that! I didn't even think of that! That's gruesome. Yeah. There you go. That's the real Technodrome. That's there it was. is. It's so awesome. It's funny to think that this game is is a console game that's more unforgiving than the arcade. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, these fucking things. Oh, man. You know what? I remember beating this game as a kid now because I remember this level. Yeah. So I did beat it. That's interesting. I don't think you said you did. You yeah. didn't say that you didn't. I just don't remember vividly beating it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, it would be cool if this was kind of like Double Dragon, where... The further you get, you get more moves. Like, imagine if we had like another move now because yeah, we we, you know, would be we cool. kill, you know, get four hundred points or something. Get another move. Like, it'd be awesome. Like the like the, where he grabs the hair. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the knee bash and all that. 
they did double dragon versus uh, battle toads, or double dragon, double dragon and battle toads together. Ninja turtle and battle, ninja turtle and battle toads, or ninja turtle double dragon. That'd be awesome. That would There's be. There's so awesome. many things that can be done. And they're obviously still making Double Dragon games. They made Double Dragon 4. Why can we not yeah. still see that to this day? Ninja Turtle Double Dragon. Somebody do it. Let's do it. I wonder why they made them not disappear. That's interesting. I'm not sure. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah! yeah. Fuck we it. beat him! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy! General Track. He didn't know what was coming! <laughs> Fucking asshole. Fucked him up! He turned into gold. There you go. <laughs> why, does, why don't they collect their gold? Uh, oh, there's Krang. Here's Krang. They fill your life up, up again. So that's, that's good. good. Right. I think it's definitely more about jumping than like yeah. standing there. With this guy, it's more the head. <laughs> that sounded great. Yeah. Oh, he's flashing. Yeah, that's good. I'm almost dead though. Oh! oh! Good work. Yeah. Teamwork. There you go. Do we fight Shredder now, though? Oh. Oh, get him! Kill him! No, you're not! Fuck you! He kills us both right now. Motherfucker. Boom! And now, if Shredder comes out, we're fucked. I love the wall there. Are, fucked. Are we fucked? This is all about avoiding that. Wow, so I don't know how I avoided it. Yeah, okay, his helmet's off. So one of them's fake. Can you kill the fake one or? Uh, I think you should, you're supposed bother. to or something. They keep splitting up. I think what you're supposed to do is keep one of them alive. The one, I guess the one that, where the helmet comes off is the real one maybe? No, cause I killed the real one. Oh, now now we only attack him. The one with the, with the helmet off, I think. Maybe. Try to kill the guy with the helmet off first. Okay. See what happens. No, I don't no. Know. Maybe just you gotta get both their helmets off, maybe, and then oh, you can yeah. fall apart. Yeah, we'll try that. I think we're getting there. Flashing, yeah, flashing longer. There. Yeah. All right, helmets off. Helmets off. Okay. Now what happens? Okay, he's, oh, he's this just is it, going. This is it. This is it. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. Did you get the hit? I think you got the hit. Yeah, I think it. <laughs> Oh, you were, he was low on energy yeah. for a long time, and I was doing a lot. Yeah. Had more. That's funny. Yeah. You you stole that I did. last hit from me. I'm a kill stealer. <laughs> Look, it is gone. The technodrome is gone. It's just blown. Spaceship Earth has been yeah. eliminated. Boom. Freaked the foots. Freaked mangled the, the Mausers. Mangled the Mausers. And totaled the technodrome. And totaled the technodrome. That's, That's turtle, turtle power. power. But what about the Shredder and Krang? Burnt to toast, vaporized to milkshake, or escaped? To Dimension X. To Dimension X. Well, um, <laughs> that's bad. There's that's the bad. turtle blimp. <laughs> um, Congratulations. Uh, opinions at this point, did, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. I yeah. mean, it is long and it is a little bit re repetitive, but it's still fun. I mean, I don't think it's as, like, you sold it as being longer than it was. I think. True. Yeah. Um, yeah, going into it, I, I remember the game being more, because it's been years since I've actually gone through and beaten it. Uh, I remember the game being really, really redundant. And it is, but it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, and I think you definitely, you need to master the kick. You need to master the, you the know, double. The double. Yeah, the du that's the, yeah. And we got, that. like, I think I got better at it you as did. it went on. You got better in general. Yeah. It is a hard game, though. It's tough. It's yeah. definitely really tough. It's not messing around. But they give you three continues, and um, near the end there with uh, Krang, like yeah. they let you start on Krang. We really got saved from being able to continue from Krang, because if you had to go through everything, fight uh, General Trag. Trag, and then fight all of them, that's a lot to so, do. Some of the bosses were a complete joke, and other ones were really, really hard. Bebop was really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Shredder himself was really fucking hard. Which he should be, though. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, it looks like he has a rope. It doesn't even look like a bow staff there. Don't well, fall. it's like what they did with Michelangelo in the yeah. uh, third season on or fourth season on of the show. He just has that like rope. And yeah. they got I think the, the nunchucks. nunchucks have no chains. <laughs> he just has two sticks. That's <laughs> bad. Yeah. Yeah. Some of those pictures are funny. Well, I'm glad we did this. Um, yeah. Good shit, man. I wonder, how, these credits are going to take forever because it's just like one name yeah. and then go. Ultra. Presented by Ultra, a game publisher that's really just Konami that existed because there were publisher limits. Right. Yeah. Or Shredder. Ha 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 ha. Is that the end? Or does it keep going? Let's see. The blimp isn't all the way across the screen. The oh, blimp. they faded out before getting the blimp across. Game over. What do you get game over? Like, <laughs> they're like, fuck you. Fuck game over. Game beat. <laughs> Game beat. 